Okay, we're getting ready to uh, return to the airwaves here. Make sure I push, uh, push everybody's button, so to speak. Okay, we return, and uh, I can't tell you what they look like, but in the room is to my, oh boy, well, that's because I'm so far right. To my left, immediate left, <laughs> is uh, uh, Dr. Charles Chuck Fink. Who used, didn't you used to live in the South End? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Edward Street? That's correct. See? I'm right up over the hill on Providence. And, and also, uh, now, I've never met Mike Sylvia, but here he is. This is Michael Sylvia. Yes, in person. And uh, the two of you have decided to step forward over there in, in Belmont to, uh, to uh, represent the Republican Party in the primary. But you didn't sign up in time, so now you, ha you need write-ins on Tuesday. Yes. To, uh, to make you the nominee so you can participate in the general election and give the people of Belmont a chance to, uh, you know, uh, vote for a couple of Republicans. There's addition. nothing worse than a blank line on a, uh, on a ballot come November. If we didn't step up, we would have had uh, a choice of uh, a Democrat and a Democrat. Yeah, and you don't, you really don't. They, they know Belmont doesn't need that. And now I've been in New Hampshire for two years, and uh, I moved here with the Free State Project. Oh, good, good. Oh, I like that already. One of those. That means a lot to Some me. people like that. Some people think that's uh, pretty offensive. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with protecting your rights that would be granted to you in the. Uh, the uh, Constitution. Right. I think uh, some people get confused that uh, they think that we, uh, the Free State Project is here to take over New Hampshire, but uh, not at all. We're here to reinforce New Hampshire from the threat from the South. Uh -huh. Well, no, I have no problem with that at all. If I lived in Belmont, I could see I would already vote for you. Well, I'm a, I like to think I'm a constitutional conservative and that um, Many times the Constitution has been uh, ignored um, or just misinterpreted, and, um, and it's just a, always driven me crazy. And, uh, um, and a, a couple years ago, I uh, was friends with Bob Greenmore, a representative from Meredith, and when he retired, I egged him on to run for the, the House of Representatives, and he did, and he won. And, uh, he tried to talk me into running this time for Belmont, and I kept trying to put it off, hoping someone else would step up, until he called me and said, uh, no one stepped up, now what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but for those who are listening and would say, gee, I'd really uh, like some folks to hear what uh, Mike uh, Sylvia said and what uh, Charles uh, Fink said, and uh, the good news is this, this the Saturday program, all four hours, is available on the podcast later in the day hour by hour at WEZS.com. So in other words, if you say, well, I listened to the first hour, but I didn't catch the second hour, well, then just hit the second hour. So we're user-friendly. So if you folks, uh, any of you, including the candidates, if uh, you wanted to let people know this is what uh, I was asked and here's how I answered it, it's right here. I can't run away from it. Went out over the air. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, uh, of course, Representative Akinaro is here. Uh, in Laconia, I will be voting for him as, as, our, as our rep in, in the new District 9. And uh, if I could vote in Belmont, I'd certainly write you in on Tuesday. That's what we must get straight. My, my friends in Belmont, and I know there are some of you who are still my friends, <laughs> it wasn't a bad call. The kid didn't bag the plane. <laughs> I could see Sontag and Caldwell for first and third coming up and head for home plate. And I said, oh, here we go. I let them have this say, and I still said the guy was out. That's it. <laughs> and, but they're good people. Now, and there are a lot of good people in Belmont, a lot of good conservatives. Some of them call into this program. So on, on Tuesday, we need you to go there. Do you, uh, you fellows going to be at the polls so people take a look at you? And we certainly will Kick be. the tires and whatever. <laughs> We've got little cheat sheets for them in the line of a business card that has our name spelled on them and uh, a little reminder to fill in the bubble because that's the first thing that sets off the count of the, uh, the ballots is a, a right in uh, a bubble next to the right in line. So they don't even look at it unless the bubble is filled in. So that's a really important thing to remember. And we'll, we'll be reminding them. Yeah, well, I, I, we want to make sure that we get people out and that they give you a vote uh, right in, and they give Harry Akinaro a vote to get him through the primary. 
Uh, I'm quite upset about how this has all worked out too, but it's, uh, it's politics. That's why it's not always pretty, but some people have to just get in and mix it up and fight with the bad guys, and that's me. Okay, now I am going to take a quick break. Uh, so I don't get into a point where I'm right up against the clock. When we come back, we'll start talking about positions, issues. Would that be good with you guys? Yeah, sure. I think we can handle it. Well, uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, we'll even talk about your duties as a member of the county delegation. Because we need people on there who believe in spending our money as if it was our money. It is our money.